Hi everybody, it's Carla. I wanted to come on and share with you what I'm doing today. It's Saturday. I'm in the house by myself. Um, my husband's out and about and so uh, he brought down all the Christmas decorations that we've accumulated since we moved uh, from Michigan, um, I think nine years ago. And when we moved, we didn't bring any with us. We donated all of them, and then we just kind of started accumulating again. So everything you see will either be from the thrift store, mainly from the thrift store, but I did buy a few things after Christmas at Hobby Lobby and Walmart, So and Dollar Tree. So you'll see a few things there, and maybe even Dollar General. I don't remember. But yes, this is all very budget-friendly, and I just wanted to share what I put up in this little corner of my living room. And uh, we're going to have a small Christmas this year. Our one son who's been staying with us, he was injured in a car wreck in February, getting back on his feet now. Our other son, he'll be coming to visit us from Michigan, but he moved to Michigan early in the year, and he's getting on his feet. So uh, we're going to have a very small Christmas, but I did want to decorate. And um, this is a macrame tree. And I love macrame, maybe growing up in the 60s and 70s, you probably remember it if you were in that era. And macrame is very pretty. Up here is a, just a silk flower arrangement and I stuck some poinsettias in it to uh, give it a holiday look. And here's a little angel. And like I said, all these things are just um, thrifted items pretty much. Two tiles that are that have picture uh, backs, you know, that you can kind of just stand them on a shelf or you can hang them on a wall. And then a little um, pre-made kind of Christmas tree uh, thing back there. A little sleigh uh, basket that I put two votive candles in clear containers in. This is that little Christmas tree that I made. I decided not to buy anything more this year for Christmas as far as decorating. I'm just going to make do with what I have. <clears throat> Excuse me, I did buy four bags at Dollar Tree because I wanted to put them <clears throat> excuse me, into frames, but that's the extent of my uh, purchases for this year of decorating because I just want to make do with what I have. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I'm losing it. These are some more things I made. And I put some Christmas flowers in there. It's a star. <clears throat> Since our little five-year-old granddaughter's in Michigan, and she won't be with us at Christmas, we'll be sending her stuff. But um, I wanted to do a little Christmas tree, and I got the tree, the skirt, and these little uh, my little pony ornaments last year after Christmas at Hobby Lobby, and I think the whole thing cost maybe two or three dollars. So she's got a little Christmas tree there in memory of her granddaughter Ashlyn, who will be in Michigan with her mama and daddy. Um, this looks like a pasta jar, like you'd hold spaghetti or something in, but I put um, beaded garland in there, the bigger at the bottom, then red, and then small gold at the top. I did a gold ornament to hold it all down, and I hot glued a uh, gold bow onto a piece of cardboard, red cardboard, and hot glued the knot of the ribbon right there to hold it. This is a little... Um, tree topper and it's battery operated. I gotta get some batteries but it glows multicolor. I thought that'd be pretty. This is a um, peppermint candle that someone had made and uh, after it burns down I can put another votive or a little glass jar in there with a votive in it. It's sitting in a Christmas tree basket and I love this fake flower foliage. I think it's cute. Kind of kitschy. Here's two matching uh, candle holders and then a little, it was an ornament, and I took the hanger off. This is my little snowman that I made, my big, like, snow globe. Just something cute to do. This is, uh, again, I think it was a Hobby Lobby purchase, and it's got a candle that glows inside, and you can see light through the window. Same thing for this fireplace. There's a candle that glows, and you can see the flames flicker. Um, this is like an old-timey votive and it's got a candle in there. Same thing for this old Saint Nick. Uh, there's candle inside this metal holder and it glows through the all the openings of his beard and his outfit. This I just took a big pickle jar, filled it with um, the large uh, Christmas bulbs because we don't use those and put a bow on top. My daughter sent me from Macy's a, um, what is that? 
Sherry Lewis and lamb chop. So she got me a lamb chop a few years ago. This is a gift jar I made. This is another little um, plastic floral arrangement with a little plastic container you can put candy or something in, but I just put it in the middle. I might change that out to something else. This is some wrapping paper just put inside uh, a black frame and hung with um, some tinsel wire. I like this uh, from the thrift store because it looked like uh, a Christmas story, the way they wrote it on there. I like the curves and everything. And it's just plastic and it's kind of kitschy again. And the same thing, this was just to hang in a window or to hang uh, Christmas cards from. I took the, the attachments for the cards off and just kind of tacked it to the wall here. And then I put up some, let me move some over here. I just put up this little cutout that says Merry Christmas and it's on a metal background. My little heart, or, sorry, star I like. And joyful, joyful, we adore thee. I've got some other things I'll be putting out. And then I um, did some of the um, stockings. We've got an old rustic door that we have never stripped off and uh, repainted. Let me cover this while I move it over here. And you can just see the stockings I'm putting up for us. And again, I'll cover it. But yeah, I just wanted to share with everybody, and I try to step back, but I've got things in the way because I've been going through boxes and bags and stuff. But it's just a little metal shelf unit that I just wanted to uh, put into my living room. And this is the earliest that I've ever done any decorating. Um, my husband's going in on Wednesday to have a knee replacement, so I know I'm going to be busier this month than I'm usually. And... Um, yeah, just a lot of stuff going on, but I do so appreciate the holidays, appreciate that Christ came to be our salvation, appreciate time to be with family, and appreciate uh, having simple things that I can decorate with and enjoy, and I don't have to go all out for it. And I hope uh, that maybe some of you got an idea of a craft, like this is made of fabric and felt, buttons, and uh, you can either sew it or hot glue it and a little piece of uh, gold string at the top. And this banner is made with a dowel stick with a cord at the top cut through to the ends there. And then this is all felt, felt background, felt tree, buttons with some sequins. Everything's hot glued on and it's just very pretty and, and uh, it's got some bells here at the bottom. So I just wanted to share some more Christmas craft ideas if you wanted to try it and show you my humble little Christmas. And I hope that you'll reuse some of yours and maybe save yourself some money here at Christmas time. And uh, if you don't need to do that, that's great too. So have a good one, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.